Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So I'm a little, little off. I'm way off today. Um, started the day with, uh, took my mom to follow up for her cataract surgery. And so drove downtown in a thunderstorm. That's always fun. Um, it took us way longer to make the trip and to come back than it did for her to be in the office, but she's doing great. And so that's the most important part. But so that's kind of thrown off my day. And then this should have been broadcasting live on YouTube because I did not do a broadcast yesterday because today is the blog hop. So I am bound to be confused all day, but at least I've got an excuse. So <laughs> I'm going to work with that. And then the other thing that's odd is that I'm in my group for um, my business instead of the on my page. Typically, I'm live on my page. However, there's something odd with Facebook and I and my streaming software, and I didn't have an option to select my page. I was only able to select my group. So when this video um, is, makes it to the blog, which it will today by noon, noon central, um, then I will share that blog post in all the places that it needs to go. And your comments um, enter, give you an entry into a drawing. And we're going to do two drawings today. We're going to draw for the winners from last week's broadcast. Remember, typically on Mondays, I'm on YouTube Live, and on Wednesdays, I'm on Facebook Live. Of course, there are always two exceptions, um, but we don't need to bother with those today. We just need to talk about what, what it is we've got going on. So I am just going to get my phone really quick set over to the group. Oh, and I'm live. Okay. Awesome. So looks like Johnny is watching. So welcome, Johnny. I'm glad you're here. We missed you last night on our Zoom. Um, so first thing, I am going to draw for um, last week's winners. So we had a bunch of you that participated in the Wednesday broadcast and left me comments um, either um, on the, during the broadcast or afterwards on YouTube. Now, Still not getting a lot of comments on my blog post, which um, that'd be awesome if you take a chance to go over there once it posts too. Um, but I've also got to get a more streamlined approach from getting it from here live to the blog, the website. Um, so, but the winner from last Wednesday is going to win actually the card that we made. And remember that was this lovely spanner card is what this is called. And let's see if I can get up here. So it opens in three places. It opens here and then the middle opens. And this was a case of my friend Cindy Westerink. And um, so that is the winner of from Wednesday. I have a lot of entries for that. For Monday's YouTube Live, we're going to draw for this card. This card was a part of a make and take from a training that I participated in earlier this year. And in both of these cases, I'm sending the card plus a few little goodies. So, um, uh, so let's do that first and get out my little drawing here. And you know what? I'm going to, if I go away, I'll be right back. I forgot to switch to my wired here. I'm going to do that. Okay. So, okay. So I've put in Wednesday first. Got a lot of lot of people drawing for there. A lot of people in the drawing. And I'm going to pull out Kat. So Katherine Haynes, you are the winner of Wednesday's card. So I will send you a little goodie bag. Congratulations. Thank you for always watching and commenting. I appreciate all of that support. All right, now let's tip this out and draw for Monday's card. I had only had two comments. So that was the card that I've already sent them out. So I don't have them to show. Um, but I told you I wouldn't be able to send that card because they were going in the mail to some friends um, who needed some uplifting. But I had two comments and... 
Joyce Puglia, you are the winner of this cute little rain boots card, which is very appropriate today in Tennessee. It is stormy and rainy and just all around yuck. Good day to be a duck and make sure that you have your boots. So, okay, let's get down to the business of our stamping. Uh, I need to get out of that. All right, let's switch over to my desktop. So, pulled out my April calendar just to give a couple of reminders before we jump right in. Um, tonight is my team's gathering, our team meeting, and if you are a member of my team, you do not want to miss. We have a guest speaker, and I should be able to open the box of my pre-order from the new catalog, so be sure and join that. Um, tomorrow, I'll be live on Facebook, even though it doesn't show it here, um, and then I have my online card class on the third Thursday, the 21st, and we are working with Cactus Cuties. I love that stamp set, and it is carrying over to the new catalog. So that will be the class on the 21st. The kit and crop, hey, this is your opportunity to bring your stuff and hang out with your friends and crop all day. So uh, the email for that went out yesterday, and if you need some help finding out, finding the registration for it, please let me know. I'd really love you to join us. we got plenty of room, and it's going to be a great, fun day. Uh, Tuesday the 26th is the Tuesday Express class, and we are working with the Abstract Beauty bundle for that. That's that Hello Beautiful. Um, and I've got nothing on my desk to show you the examples of that, but that is from the mini catalog. The Cactus Cuties is from the mini catalog. Um, and then Card Club this month. I finished that fourth card, and I can show it to you. you still have a few days to register for Card Club, either as a subscription or a one-time. So here you go. The first card is this lovely pocket card. Isn't this fun? So a little different, not really a fun fold. Maybe it is because we've got this little crisscross thing going on, but um, fun pocket. So that is one of our cards. And then I shared the rest of them last week. Here is one of our cards. This card is actually, um, this is kind of making your own DSP. So um, this stamp set has great opportunities to do that. We could mix up the colors and do lots of really fun things with it. And then this real similar, this is a recipe that I turn to a lot when I am card making. So those are the four cards for Card Club and that club meets in person on the 30th or that can be mailed to you. Okay, so today the blog hop, the theme is pretty in pink. And I have pulled out the Expressions in Ink Specialty Designer Series paper. This is from the annual catalog. So it is on the last chance list. Um, it had not sold out the last time I looked, but I did not take the time to look this morning. So the winner of today's drawing, the comments from today's drawing, is going to get um, a four by six piece of each of the designs so that you can make some cards with this as well as one of the samples from today. So look at this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. It's got these gold accents running through it. Can you see all that? And then this beautiful um, effect with the ink. Good morning. Look at, the, I love this green. So we're going to make, I need to make two of these cards. Um, probably make one pink one. That's the one that I'll send out. And then one in a different color because I'm sending this. I'm making this actually in honor of my niece. My niece posted yesterday that she is one year sober. And her story is so inspiring that, um, and I'm so proud for her in this great achievement. Um, but I can't wait to send a card off to her. She is living in Texas right now. And, um, you know, when she does make it home, her time is very, very tight. So um, I want to send her a card, let her know what a 
I'm so proud of her for taking these steps and investing in herself. So as you can see, there are a lot of fabulous colors in this paper. I mean, oh my gosh, there are pinks, there are greens. So I'm just going to run through them before we jump in. So we have shaded spruce. And I, guys, the lighting in here is bad today. Um, it is stormy, raining, it's gross. Um, polished pink, pear pizzazz, pale papaya, mint macaron, magenta madness, just jade, and evening evergreen. So lots to choose from, but since the theme of the blog hop is pretty in pink, I'm going to pull out the pinks first. Now the, this is a, um, a card recipe that I, I follow quite a bit, um, and there are lots of different ways to, to mix it up. So, all right, set those there for a second, and then let's look at which of these we want to use. Um, I really think I'm going to use this piece. We may use another one as well, but we're going to start with this one. And our designer series paper, I cut this equal to the card front. So um, the card front of the typical card is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I know that this is six inches wide, so I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter. My pattern doesn't seem to matter on this, so I'm fine to do that. So there's four and a quarter. Now, um, I am going to put this on the card front and leave a gap and then put another strip on the base. And then I'll have a strip to go on the inside as well. So I'm going to set this. So right now, this is a little bigger than we need it to be, but that's fine. What I want to do is figure out which of the pinks we want for our base. So here's the Magenta Madness. And this is a great thing to do if you haven't done a comparison in these colors. Oh my gosh, I forgot to grab my little tools. Hold on. Sorry. I made room for them and then I promptly left them over there. All right, so if you haven't compared the different pinks, then this is a great opportunity because I'm going to pull them both out. Um, unfortunately, I don't know that you're going to be able to see as much. Well, yeah, you, you can. Um, so what I notice from my perspective is this is a lot more coral. And this is more fuchsia. Um, both gorgeous colors. And let's see which one we like best. So there it is on polished pink. And here it is on magenta madness. And it seems to really pop for me on magenta madness. So that is the one that I am going to use. Now when I'm making this recipe, I like the card to open um, tall. Um, so that means I am scoring at five and a half, scoring blade right on my trimmer. And then I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. And now you can see that, don't go far away, Trimmer. We're going to still need you a bunch. Um, so now you can see that this is going to line up. We're, we're really going to cover most of the card front. So, um, but I'm going to have a, but I'm going to have a gap. I'm trying to decide, sorry. <laughs> um, I have half an inch. All right, let's cut off. Let's go ahead and cut off three quarters of an inch. And we will say that that is for the inside. Okay, and I'm going to cut that again. That's not going to be enough cut off, but it's a good place to start. So this will be our base. And then we are going to create a gap where we 
where I'm going to stamp. I'm going to bring in some ribbon. Um, and a lot of times if I'm doing this on a colored cardstock, I actually will bring in a, um, a layered circle instead of stamping here. So we might do that. There's so many ways you can do this. Um, but I'm going to want my gap to be bigger any way that I do this. That's not, that's not the, the, the big space that I want. So I'm actually going to cut from the top here. And that way, these two pieces would still line up if, you know, if they were touching. Um, so I'm going to cut three and a quarter off. Now, if you, um, sometimes you already know what you're going to put in here, and it all is just fine. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we like. So I brought over iridescent rhinestones as kind of our. Uh, a gem that we might use. Love this happy and heartfelt. Thought these would have some great greetings to send to Mallory. Um, we could do congratulations on the front and then we have to celebrate this on the inside. Um, I love you. I think that that's um, real appropriate. I'm so so proud of her. Um, sending her lots of love. Um, being awesome is just your thing. That would be that's going to be great. It's not going to fit on the outside, but it would fit on the inside. Um, and as I'm looking at these, I'm kind of thinking that we might want a circle label for, for some of these. Um, here is amazing, right? So we could stamp amazing in here. And we could, we could heat emboss, um, you know, it's just hard because there's so many, so many options. Um, all right. I think for this first one, I am going to heat emboss in white. And I bet that I play with this all day long um, because I just love this recipe so much. And there's so many ways to just, to just create similar but different. Um, oh, my gosh, I sound like a line from a movie. Uh, okay. Now, I put that down so I would know where I wanted my greeting to go. Uh, so I really don't want it to hang off into my designer series paper necessarily. Uh, and I might even pull out the Stamparatus. Well, I don't know. Because this is not something that has to be perfectly straight. Um, because it, it is not perfectly straight. So then the question is, I think I'm going to let the G hang off a little bit because I'm going to do this in embossing. Um, I'm all right with it. Okay, we're going to need some Versamark. Love that I got some of those drawers labeled. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I don't think I've even told Jay that. Jay is my friend who um, who offered this cabinet to me, if you didn't remember that. I'm gonna, not quite, I'm gonna get a different block. I like my blocks to be a, a fair bit bigger than my image that I'm stamping. Okay, coming along with Versamark ink. And sometimes it's really hard to chop up this pretty paper, isn't it? Um, oh, sorry for my head, guys. Um, That looks good. Now let's get out this powder. And I'm 
I'm just working to make sure I've got powder where I want it. And that looks great. You can't see probably that the, the Z is dipping in yet, but it is. I also thought this would be great to do with the um, Amazing Thanks um, die cuts. Um, so there might be one of those in the future as well. Who knows? I did not mention the fundraiser that we just kicked off for the Ukraine effort. Um, we, Jeannie uh, Nielsen, Judy Tuttle, and I have teamed up to offer a fundraiser using the, oh my gosh, the Memories and More cards and the note cards that are on page 59 of the mini catalog. But, gosh, wouldn't the name be nice if I remembered? Okay. my loop. Grab it a quick drink. And I think you can get a good, good look at how so that does show and now let's make sure I've got this part right okay so now it's just a matter of figuring out um, if I need to cut any more off of my top piece and it looks like about a quarter of an inch could come off maybe a little less but I'm going to do I did not take off a full quarter so when I do the card recipe I'm probably going to talk in really round numbers or um, because it just varies based on what stamp you're using here okay so that's going to go like that and we could put a white liner on this um, on the inside but I think I'm probably just going to put this down here on the pretty pink so I don't think my niece is necessarily a real pink girl so I may use one of the other colors for her card But she's definitely very creative and very artistic, so I think that she will really love this paper. Okay, still got that right. And we may make this same card on white. And if I did that, I would stamp my greeting in the magenta madness I chose white for this one because I was pretty sure I had a ribbon that I wanted to use got it out here it is and it has has some pink and white in it and I thought it would be pretty now we all know nope I'm not a big fan of the wrap around um, but I forgot to wrap around my designer series paper or wrap and tuck around my designer series paper so I'm kind of stuck with the wrap around now um, love the idea of just a knot Let's see if I can pull it off. See, my struggle with the wraparound is because of the tension, more so than the look. 
All right, let's trim that. And see what we think. So pretty simple card here. Um, and yeah, I think you could totally stamp on the inside here. Um, and let's see what we might like on the inside. I think we have to celebrate this or being awesome is just your thing. Anybody got a vote? I think it's we have to celebrate this. You guys are going to have to be quicker with your voting. And I am going to stamp this in black. Be a little risky as to whether or not I can get that straight. This might be the recipe for my team recognition cards, too, because they are amazing. They had a great march. All right, so what do you think? Does it need some bling? With all these little gold accents, I don't know that it does. I don't think it would. Let's just pull them out. Let's see if we put... I'm just going to put this one here and then I'm going to grab a small one. Come on. And so that is how I grab. Someone asked me last night in the Zoom call what I use the Petty in for. And so I just picked up that rhinestone or that gem just by pushing it off. And I am going to just put two little ones right over here. So we've added a little bit of bling. So we've got some glimmer here in this. We've got the gold foil. I think this is a super feminine, really cute little card. And it was really fast. So let's, um, let's do pretty much the same card with a white base and see how we like, see how we like that, um, just to give us some different, different perspectives then I feel like I'm going to have to make it in green. I love the greens. I really like green. And there's so many greens in this. Okay, so I'm just going to set this one right over there. Get it out of the way. Put my little, my few little rhinestones back in here. <laughs> I've really condensed my workspace here. Um, ah! over here. Now I said I wanted a white. Let me pull out the thick white. Okay, so here's the thick white. And my trimmer. We may have to make these simultaneously. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I can't. I do not have room up here. You need to go there. You need to go over there. You need to go over there. The desk was cleared off a few minutes ago. I mean, pretty cleared off. So, oh, next week um, on Monday, there will be a replay um, posted. Uh, I am... I am having a little surgical procedure that morning. I'm totally fine, but uh, but I won't be live. And I think 
I might be down for you know a day or so. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do a replay from I don't know. Okay, so now it is four by six, and we're gonna cut off that three quarters for the inside three quarters for the bottom and then we know that let's see four and a half that is does not leave us enough room um, let's oh heck I can't take you right now um, speaking of my surgery that was the doctor's office I had taken if I started at five and a half I would have taken off three and a quarter taking it to four and three quarters um, three quarters from the top let's see oh my gosh I flipped it around Oh, I got those un I got those out of, out of alignment. That's okay. Um, but that's not enough room for our amazing. I'm gonna take another quarter inch. And honestly, I don't know. It may not line up this time. And that's all right. Okay. And of course, we don't have to do amazing this time. Is there another word that you guys would like to use? to help me out here it's way more fun when you make decisions with me okay that's gonna go there now I'm gonna grab the magenta ink Yes, the phone definitely rang. My phone rang. Did your phone ring? Okay, there it is. Oh, I know what I meant to do. Hmm. I don't think that's... Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. That's funny. Don't they know we're busy? So the cards for last week that I was working on for my high school friends, those all went out in the mail on Saturday. Oh, and did you see? I just totally did that again. So I'm stuck with the wraparound again. All right, now this is actually polished pink um, ribbon, but I think it's okay. And I think I want the bow on the right. I've got more space here than here, so I'm going to put the, the knot over on the right side instead of the left. I don't know that there's a rule. If there's a rule, I'm breaking it. I don't think there is. I think there's a habit that I have for doing it on the left. Okay, so still trying to keep it tight. Okay, where's the... I 
that, that's funny. They're just totally sticking straight up. All right, we're going to push them over here. And that actually kind of works out okay. We're taking up some of that space there. Pull that down. And we'll come inside. Okay. And then we can. Okay. I'm going to trim these a little bit. See, when it slides down, it's almost in that A. So I could use a glue dot to keep it in place over here, but with this open weave, that stickiness may come through. So I don't know that I want to do that. Um, and what would be pretty, hold that thought for a second. Let me see if I have some. So I just grabbed the in color gems. I do still have some pink. Okay, so I like I like the rhinestone-y looking ones more than the the square. So I think I'm gonna use those. Let's add let's add a little bit of bling or a lot. I'm going to put I'm actually going to put a couple here and then I want We've added some more pink. I think that's lovely as well. What do you all think? Do you have a favorite? So here are the two that we've made so far. Which do you think? Do you have a favorite? I don't know that I do either. Should we do a green one? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't hear that often said about um, myself. Great balance. Hmm. I really, I, I really have to do a green one. And this, this one is just so rich looking to me. Um, so I think with this one, I uh, will do a, um, a label. I need to show you how I do that. So let's cut this off this way. So four inches. And then, you know, you need to stamp something on your envelopes too. I keep leaving naked envelopes. Um, I struggle with that. So for the inside, and for the bottom and because I'm doing a label my gap doesn't have to be quite as large but I don't have much at all on this one so here's my card yeah I've got like a quarter of an inch so I am once again going to take three quarters off the, t the top and 
then i think the question is do we see evening evergreen or shaded spruce so let's get those out here's spruce and here is evergreen So, man, <laughs> I, I really like them both. Um, I'm going with spruce. Might have to do another one in green. Okay, so I've got to vote for the one that is in pink, the pink card. So I'm not getting any names today, so I'm not sure who's commenting, and that's that's okay. It's just telling me Facebook user, and that could be because I'm over in the group instead of the page where I normally am, or it just could be part of today's wackiness. I, I don't know. All right, shaded spruce we've got going on here, and an extra one for over there. Um, this is for the inside, but we're going to cut a white, we'll need a white liner for this one. Okay, why are you not, oh, because I cut it at four instead of four and a quarter. Oh my gosh. All right, peel that off. Oh, and you could do that. It's just a different effect and it's not the one I wanted. So my other piece, I'm gonna be drifting into some other colors this time. Okay, so four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, that quarter inch makes a difference. Goodness gracious. Okay, quarter ink, quarter in, three quarters of an inch for the inside three quarters of an inch for the bottom and then cut off three quarters from the top and then you could do something really cool with these little strips too might be time to come back to the strippy scrappy scrappy strippy what was that called okay this one is my inside And have to put it down because I've already got glue down on my card. It's going to get to be a hot mess. So I think this is a really quick way to use your designer series paper and make, I mean, you're just, you just have no limits. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's cut that white liner so we can put this down. Um, and then we'll also need to get out the mini cut and emboss machine to cut a layer. So you are at five and a half. So I'm gonna cut you at four. And then and a quarter and okay since this guy's already got glue on him and he's four inches we're going to use him Just okay that way that seems pretty okay so that that's our inside now I'm gonna grab the 
label uh, layering circles and I'm going to grab a couple of them, honestly, actually, because I might want, <laughs> since, these are, since these are going away, do we need to use those instead? Um, we need to see what our greeting choices are. So... That's kind of that's kind of big for congratulations. I think it's kind of small for that one. Um, but it, this is a great. I like these layered this way. Um, I feel like that might need to be a circle. That's a little big. Um, if we wanted to do. So here's a long congratulations. So how would it be here? Do that in white and then do this in our shaded spruce. Let's give it a try. in white, this in shaded, or not shaded, yes, it is shaded spruce. Cut this off so it will go through. So this needs to be about two and a quarter. And I've usually got a scrap of white over here. Not quite. Those will work in the mini. So let's grab it. Well, the mini is no longer on sale. I hope that you had a chance to take advantage of that because it's this is just so handy to have. We'll do this one first. So if y'all, if you've seen my newsletter, are there any questions that you have, things that I didn't make clear? Do you understand the kit and the crop? It doesn't mean that you're going to come and work on kits. You can if you want to, but it's, um, it's more a work at your own pace. There's just a minimal goodie bag with it because we really wanted you to be able to work on your own projects. And I was thinking this morning, I've had lots of requests for... Um, kind of the hybrid scrapbooking that I do, some instruction on that, um, and that one might be a good time to do it. I know that um, I have a friend that wants to work on a scrapbook for uh, her son, and she, um, I'm thinking this would be a great opportunity for her to come and work on it too. She's got a big table to work at and all day to work on it. So that's the kit and the kit, kit and crop on the. Now you're probably thinking that that's a lot of green really close together, and it might be. But let's see what we can. Let's see what we can do. Okay, um, I'm going to stamp this in black this big congratulations and this is from a grand kid and it is in the annual catalog and it is carrying over peel this off of there gonna have some cleanup on aisle seven when I'm finished oh did y'all see I just totally stuck my thumb in that Alright, I'm going to get 
that lined up. Stand on my tiptoes so maybe I don't get my head in the camera. Careful just to come down and straight up. That looks nice. And we will put this down on here. Now we need some ribbon on this. We're gonna put the ribbon here in the middle and then the congratulations. Or you could just take, you could take a strip of a different color, strip of gold foil maybe. Um, we'll put this up on dimensionals. I think the white and the pink is going to be a no-go. Um, we do have some gold. Let me grab, see if I can find that real fast. There's the black glimmer ribbon, but it's glimmer is kind of on the silver side. I think it needs to be gold. Oh yeah. Okay, just created my high school rival card. Great. Now, because we have the label, we have the opportunity to do a cheater bow, which I'm always a fan of. So let's put this down with glue dots. Feeling for the glue dot, where are you? One for that end. One for this end. Okay. And then we have this. Some dimensionals on it. Ah. I just totally missed my trash can over there. That's okay. Now I'm scooting this just to the right so that I have room for a bow over on the left. And I'm going to cut a good long piece of this, thread it under, so if you are local to me and you are a green wave, then here is your graduation card. And thinking it needs some, oops, I missed. That's because I don't have my readers on, I can't see. 
we're gonna need some metallic pearls. Let's grab them. So, if anybody is crying about this product leaving the catalog, it's me. So if you hear about that, make no mistake, it's me. I am the one crying about this. I love these metallic pearls. They are gold and silver. And let's add, I'm not very, I'm not confident ever in the placement of my embellishments. Is that something that you should admit? I don't know, but it's true. Um, and I feel like these are small. I could probably do a lot. Um, Y'all are not shouting out the answer. I feel like I need you to be on, what's that show? Um, the Price is Right. Gosh, you'd be telling me, left, right, higher, lower. I need that because I got no ideas. One there. And then I just feel like you could come up higher and sprinkle some more. Okay, now I'm just being silly, just putting them randomly on the card. Um, but I really like them. I think you could do more. And they're going away, so there's no sense in saving them, right? Okay. Oh, we got to put this in. Congratulations. And... I'm going to leave this one blank on the inside. Glue it down. So there you have it, folks. We have made three, three cards today following pretty much the same. Well, following the same recipe for all three. And I got votes for this one as being a favorite, but you've now got an idea of how you can do um, a label with it as well. So have a very blessed day. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to comment, to like, to share, comment over on the blog, comment on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will be back um, tomorrow. And I'll be, I guess I'll be back on Facebook since I, uh, <laughs> I goofed up today. There's no sense in uh, balancing that out. I'll be back on YouTube next week. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.